Today we've come all the way to Oshawa, Ontario. Now Oshawa is famous for a couple of things. First, it's been a home of GM plant since 1953. Actually, I think it's been a plant before that for McLaughlin's and uh, Buick's. Anyhow, it's also home to the five-time Memorial Cup champion, Oshawa Generals. But today we're here for a very special event. It's called the Rally Durham, the 2019 edition. That's all to benefit the Canadian Automotive Museum. Well, Rally Durham, we're kind of rekindling an old event. We used to do a Can Auto Rally back in the 70s, and we thought it would be a great way to participate in the community and bring some fun cars out to the museum. The museum's been here over 50 years. It was established in 1963, and over the years we've acquired a group uh, collection of early Canadian cars, which has been uh, added to and augmented over the years, including a, a significant collection of European cars. I love the European stuff, so for me the, the old Alfa, the Hispano, the Bugatti, the Silver Ghost Rolls are, are incredible cars. And the early Canadian cars like the McKays and the, and, and the McLaughlins and, and uh, you know the cars that, that were at the turn of the century and started with a blank sheet of paper. This is a 1918 uh, Pierce Arrow made in Buffalo. That's a twin cam uh, dual valve six cylinder. It's just under 600 cubic inch uh, with dual ignition. It's a uh, 48 horse. You have to pretend you're driving a boat when you're stopping. Um, it's two wheel brakes um, and right in the owner's manual it basically says uh, use both brakes, hand, hand brake and service brake. So it's uh, not the greatest for stopping but it will if you're careful. Like I say, it isn't so good on the hairpin turns. We're very fortunate that we have Canadian Tire Motorsport Park right in our backyard. So we were able to get some track time here. So all these cars get to drive on the track. They're not racing, but for a lot of them, just the opportunity to, to be on the racetrack, to see it, to drive it is pretty cool. Uh, Mosport, it's uh, it's pretty neat for me. I haven't been around Mosport for a couple years, so to go around in the Lotus of Land was really, really cool. It is very, very small, and uh, I, all of these um, cars, like you think of a 911 Porsche or something like that, as a as a small car. But today's versions are quite large, and, and you get pull up next to it in the Lotus of Land, it's it's pretty tiny. That's great. I, I, I can't wait to do it again next year. Well, I think as you can tell, this really has been a fantastic event. And have you ever seen a more amazing group of cars? And they all come together for a great cause, the Canadian Automotive Museum. I'm sure you can find more information about the museum online. The thing that interests me also, a couple of those cars, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking, two-minute test drive. Stay tuned.